All right, so we got the update fully translated by Grand the Base. Thank you, thank you, much appreciated. Because uh, some of the stuff for Sariel, I think it was just Sariel, not um, not uh, Termio. Or was it both? So some stuff was a little incorrect from the translations I got on the other video, but it's mostly f and not fine. But we got a bunch of stuff here. We got. <laughs> A disaster battle for Camilla's furry transformation. Interesting. New story chapter. Saria and Tarmiel as a banner. Uh, and then... I don't know why... This is nice, but it's not like... I don't know why they're advertising like it's something crazy. That when you um, when you summon on the banner, you get the uh, full upgraded pieces of, your, uh, of SSR gear. It's not the craziest thing. But, chapter 15. Very, very nice. We're almost getting to Meliodas versus Ascanor, which is um, what I what I want is for them to drop the one with the chapter. As soon as the chapter rolls in, they drop the one, they drop Assault Meliodas. Don't make it a festival, just make it a regular banner, the one Assault Meliodas. Or they could make the one a festival and Assault Meliodas like a side in the banner like Hendrickson was, Demon Hendrickson was for King, but I want that, I really do. And then New Heroes, um, I already talked about them, but I'm actually gonna go in detail because I think it was, um, it was gonna be better like this. In the other video I have gameplay, if you wanna see that. Like the animations and stuff. But his unique, or passive, increases the basic stats of Goddesses, allies, um, by 20% of this hero's basic stats. So that's, that's really good passive. <laughs> it's really good passive. The grace of Tornado, his grace. If a critical occurs when the hero is a skill, ignores 50% of enemy's critical defense. Here's the thing about graces. This works in the back. So what I'm thinking is, right? You know my green golfer, Ludosio, Death Pierce in the back team? You slap this bad boy under my Zeldris or Lost Vein or whoever it is I'm using as my third in the front. And he's gonna be ignoring 50% of the enemy's, enemy's critical defense when he crits. That's huge. Like, that's a big boost in damage. I, uh, I'm, I'm definitely really excited about this guy. This guy is really... Like, all, all about him, like, he's just crazy. Then his, uh, is his AoE? Yeah, the AoE is, uh, inflicts severe damage equals to 300 on attack on all enemies. It's, it's triple crit chance. Let me take a quick look. Who else has that skill? Skill filter. What's the name again? It's uh, severe or sever. Never. Um, not you. You do. Yeah. So a hundred. No, it's. So they're buffing severe because well, this is double crit chance and his triple crit chance. Is they're buffing severe? I'm assuming. Let me let me take a quick look. Balancing changes. Yeah, they are buffing severe, right? <laughs> yeah, inflict severe. Yeah, they're buffing the multipliers of severe. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so yeah, 100, 150, 250 was Hausers, right? But now they're changing to 120, 180, 300. They've been doing that a lot. But to be fair, the game has been scaling, so buffing skills make sense. Um, tornado inflicts. Power strike damage equals to 475% of attack on a single enemy. Uh, additional damage based on enemy's resistance. This is a really interesting skill. Now, one thing about his stats, right? Let me actually go on my video. Like I said, I had the, the gameplay for it. And I had the stats for uh, both of them. Let me go, let me jump to Sariel since we're talking about him. His stats were pretty good. 67% pierce. 63% crit ch chance, 208% crit damage. That's very good. Um, so his his stats are very good, and they combined with his grace and everything, and the fact that you know he buffs everyone's stats, he's just, he's a phenomenal unit. Uh, his ultimate inflicts severe damage to 630 on a single enemy, he triples crit chance. Yeah, it's uh, yeah this this skill right. So here's the thing. On the gameplay, he did a skill on like this is green draw, right? It is type advantage, but look at green draw right here. Look at his HP. 
Men's ba basically died <laughs> with one level two AOE. AOE! Green Drove, one of the tankiest units in the game, basically died. So, this is definitely a. <laughs> he crit every hit because he's tripling the crit chance. He's ha he has like almost 190% chance to crit. So, he's, he's definitely really good. Now, uh, Tarmiel. Decreases all enemies' max HP by 200% of the hero's defense. This is an interesting skill. He all all of him, bo you know, both of his um, unique and grace were all around defense. When the hero takes damage on enemy's turn, recovers HP equal to 150% of the defense at the start of ally's turn. Here's the thing about defense. Not the best stat. So, for him to really work. You'd have to use triple defense, and defense is usually the lowest stat as well. So I have one big concern with him. This is him, right here. This is without any, any you know... Uh, oh, at the end there. They had them. Oh, I skipped that part, right? Right here. I don't know if they showed. When they battled, they probably had him with gear. Let's say he has 10... 10,000 defense, right? That's that's a good estimate. My girlfriend with UR gear, HP and defense has 10,000 defense. So let's say he has 10,000 defense with HP and defense. He's gonna lower the uh, enemy's HP by 20,000, which isn't... I'm talking geared, right? Ungeared. Ungeared, he had how much? Like uh, 5,000? Yeah, 5,800. It's not... The gr like on paper, it's not the greatest thing ever, but honestly, on practice, it could be very good. I'm just saying, this the, you, you might want to revolve around this. If you have triple defense, you might get him to like 13,000, 13.5 thousand defense, and then you're gonna heal in the following turn like, like 17,000 HP, which isn't like the hugest thing, you know. So his grace is uh, questionable, to say the least, but we'll see in-game, right? I just, I think 150% of defense is just not much, because defense is a very low stat. I, I, I'm i just kind of questioning their decision on the, the percentages, because this could be higher. This could have been 300, 450% of defense, and I think it would have been acceptable. I don't know, on, on paper, I don't think it looks very good. But in practice, it could be much better, you know? Uh, if Flex Damage 450 and takes off Ultimate Gauge, this card, always good. This card is always reliable. And th this is interesting, so... Um, I thought it was, this was something else, but assumes it stands for 3 turns, which reduces the final damage taken by 65% when an ally is attacked, and takes 30% of the reduced damage. Now... <laughs> it's a lot to take in. Assumes it stands for two turns, which it, on level one is like one turn, and I believe it shows here in the video as well. Let me go back. It was a 40-40, right? So it, it keeps decreasing on the last one, like I'm assuming 35-30, and then um, on the first one it goes from like, I'm assuming 40 to 50 and then 65, and increases the turns as well. Reduces the final damage taken by 65% when an ally is attacked, and takes 30% reduced damage. So, we'll see again in game, but this seems like a very tanky thing. You're gonna be reducing the allies' damage taken a lot. This is for all allies and everything, this is uh, really interesting. And his ultimate is honestly the best part about him, I wanna say. Inflicts uh, damage equals 420 of defense on all, ally or all enemies. So, Again, he's fully relying on defense. You want to triple defense this guy. 420% off defense on all enemies. Heals HP of all allies equals to 30% of damage dealt. This is really interesting. The healing part is really interesting. So when they when they give this, this is 1-6, right? Because they show him 6-6 six, six here. Are the percentages different? I want to see. Um, where is his ultimate? His ultimate is right here. It's 600... Okay, it doesn't go up the how much you heal per dupe, but just the damage. So, it's off defense. So, you want to triple defense this guy. 
which is an interesting concept because honestly since red gopher there hasn't been a single unit in the game that i would say triple defense someone because defense is the worst stat it just is out of the three it's definitely the worst right hp is huge attack is your damage defense helps but resistance is mostly what tanks for you so it's like defense was always the, the worst stat but if this guy is asking for a triple defense triple defense it is i guess uh, i'll i guess i will have to like you war gear him and stuff and triple defense him but we'll see uh, he, like they both look really interesting but f to me sariel is more of my how i play the game you know he's all about damage and this guy I mean, he does damage, but he's more about tanking, you know? Alright. So, the banner. Um, they're both usual rates. And there's no tickets, for what I can tell. So, it's gonna be the regular... It's a regular banner. Single pool gives 3 mileage, and 11 pool, 30. Resets of 600. As 300 get SSR, and then 600, you can choose one to choose. That's good. I, they've been doing like this. I don't know what you prefer. If you prefer just going in and just summoning, or if you prefer at 600 pick one. For me, because I summon so much, I prefer picking one. But for people that are doing like 6, 7 multis max, maybe getting the guaranteed SSR is better. Like if you get 5 shafts, but being able to choose one, I, I think it's a good, it's a good one. Um, Alright, you can get Gr uh, Green Demon Hendrickson, Gurheed, Matrona... Ludosiel, Green Ascanor, Blue... Is this Blue Halbrum? I believe so. Um, Blue Merlin? Question mark? Ale Collector. This is Green... Green Brawler Bond? Or Red Nunchuck Bond? Uh, it's some Bond. All Bonds are trash. Um, green Giant Dian. And then Blue Demon Meliodas. I mean, it's not... A terrible banner honestly because of Ludosio all the three you know archangels are in the banner but in my humble opinion I would say skipping this banner is the way to go if you're not a spender because festival exclusive should be the following banner and if we get like a super good bond because on like they've been dropping so many good units back to back they didn't used to be like this. I think this is because the next festival exclusive is going to be so good. And if it's Bon, he might be the only Bon in the game that's good. Right, with King, yeah, there were other good Kings. And then with Meliodas, there were other Meliodas. I guess Elizabeth didn't have any other good ones. Like, really, 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 really good ones. Because Red right Star Elizabeth is good, but like, not crazy, right? But Bon, he needs a good unit, and I know you want Bon, all right? He's like a fan favorite. It's like, it goes like Ascanor and then Bon. So, yeah, I I think skipping this, if you're not spending, would be the way to go. It's, uh, it's a banner with characters that will be in the SSR pool. And here's the thing, they are working on the Part 3 banner with Ludosia and these guys. When the Part 3 banner comes out, you're going to be having a good chance of pulling them, you know? Um... So I'd say, yeah, if you want to skip, not a bad idea. You you can, or you could wait, check out showcases from me and everyone that's going to make showcases and see how, how you like them. If you think they're fun, so on. But I, I believe skipping would be the way to go. Uh, rewards be given number, yeah, you get the uh, the SSR pieces, which again, I I don't know why they're making it like it's such a crazy thing. Uh, costumes, the usual. A new pack. Always a new pack. Uh, honestly, actually... I take it because I need engraving stones. I definitely need engraving stones. Because I'm gonna be UR gearing both of them, so that's good for me. Can pick 30 engraving stones for 30 yen. Or for 30 euros. Plus 30 gems, I'm assuming. So. Not bad. It's not bad. And then, uh. Oh, th this is one of those events where you can pick the character where it goes. Like, uh, we had one recently that you had the end and king, they just walk around the thingy and then just get rewards. It's nothing crazy. The final catastrophe, Camilla Deathmatch. Ooh, that's, that's gold farm! It's gold farm simulator! Back in the game! 
That's good. I actually quite like it. Uh, yeah, Camilla World Boss. Hoping that they'll bring back the costumes for all the, the, the disasters because my Shin is liking them. And my Roxy as well. Green Roxy do be liking her costumes. I would prefer if they would finally bring them back. Defending Camilla Boss for Grand Material, Shrek's and blah, 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 such as Green Lilia, they always bring a copy of Green Lilia. Costumes for the catastrophes and growth items. The costumes is what I want. King Exchange Event. Please tell me I can exchange SSR into SR. No, I can't. Why? I, I have. I posted a picture on Twitter. I have, alright? Let me, let, me, let me scroll down here. I have. <laughs> 200 in whatever SSR pennants because I can't use them. I just can't. I already have every SSR in the game level 80. I can't use them. Please let me exchange them for SR pennants. They don't let me. It's okay. Oh, you can exchange one R pendant into an Envo? I think I have like 300 R pendants and I already have every R level 80. I could do that. But every other than that, anything like that, I don't think it's good. Like two hammers for a stone and vice versa. It's not the worst. Two hammers for a stone. Hmm. Hmm. It's not the worst. Um event. What's this? Diamond oh it's diamond bonus event. Okay. I was like, well what's this? It's, it's purchasing things. Brawl special reward event. Upon filling up the gauge in 3v3 Brawl, you'll obtain special Brawl box instead of the usual box. It replaces Grimoires with such as Anvil, Super Wicked, Coins, Brawl. Oh, that's good. So, beforehand, right? If you play the 3v3 Brawl, you play three matches a day, and you get this box. And the box came with garbage. It, it, like, it, it's nothing, like, nothing good. Now, it can come with Anvil, Super Wicked, Coins, or garbage, because these, how much do you have of these? But. Envos are broken in coins, I take that. Have stamina's with... Ooh, that's good, I'm gonna... Ah! <laughs> They're really dropping half stamina, where I'll farm so many books when the catastrophe event is here, and that's the way to farm gold in the game. But, okay. Well, it's a big picture. Um, this is just regular story stuff. You're now able to use Envos to reroll the base stats. Thank you. And sorry, blah, blah, blah. Thank you. I will definitely do this. There are so many characters I need to do this. Broad changes. Enemy list refreshes now from 10, 10 seconds from an hour previously. View the results of match easier. Broad tickets are purchasable. Removal of food button. Knighthood war defensive team changes. The most people don't know. Don't need to know. <laughs> I need to know. I play Knighthood war. Grand Cost database. But yeah, this is, um, and that Knighthood War is really annoying to set your teams up. So if they're changing that, that's good. Skip ticket changes. When using two more skip tickets, it will not be shown the missing color. Oh, thank you. This is so annoying. It, it, it keeps showing you the mission cleared screen. If they didn't skip ticket, you will not be prompted. Okay. Recommended team feature will now recommend characters are use the most to clear the stages. That's not bad. Bug fixes. Fix the insurance light scan, pull a lot of the Transmission units that capacitation immune effects. Okay. And then the, the balance changes that we talked about. All players will get part two as a start ticket. Good. So that's pretty much it. Uh, good update. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, but um, the banner, uh, I would say skip and save for the festival exclusive. Honestly, there was just the gopher banner, which I know lots of people summon for, because it was like, gopher so good. And then before that, we had the KOF, and there's so many exclusive banners at once. I think this is one of the first banners that I can guarantee you the best way to go would be skipping if you're not a spender. Yeah, that's about it.